Hello, Patrick. <laughs> I was on mute too, so that uh, <laughs> it worked out well. We are rusty. Are you still on your trip? Yep, yep. We are on. We're here for two weeks. Oh, good, good. Down yeah, by the sh- the down way. by the shore. Yeah, that's the way we like to take vacations. Nice break. Oh, sure, 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 sure. So, how are you? You doing well? Yeah, we are doing well. It's been Excellent. very pleasant. Decompressing, very pleasant. recharging, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yep. good. Well, tonight we have, uh, this is our swan song for Stonewall in the Valley, and we are going to be looking at, for those of you just joining us, uh, you've come in at the perfect time because it's over, right? This is it. This is the the last of Stonewall in the Valley. Uh, We are going to look at the the two special or, uh, I guess, custom-made scenarios that were created by uh, Mr. Trevor Bender, and they were originally released in Skirmisher number one, um, and uh, they are now still available. You can you can actually get these on the Multiman Publishing website, and uh, I will uh, I will pull up a little uh, screenshot of that so you can see where they are. They're on the Great Campaigns resources on the Multiman support page for Great Campaigns of the American Civil War, um, so they're free. You have no reason not to play them, and the Vassal module already includes the setup so that's uh, it's very easy for you and uh what i've done of course roger for for us tonight is i uh, i copy pasted the information for each of these two scenarios that we're going to do tonight so those are available in the notes screen which we'll we will review here momentarily but um yeah my goal here for tonight is we're going to uh we're going to play each of these since the first one is only two turns and the second one is only one turn Um, They are small enough, I think, with our normal window of, you know, three to four, (laughs) three to four hours. Yeah. (laughs) That uh, I think we could could easily, yeah, we could play uh, both of them swapping sides uh, back to back. So we will explore these uh, as in depth as they are want to be. I think they were created, uh, obviously they're fan created. So uh, when Trevor created these, they are, I would presume, made for first you know, novice players, um, and uh, they they add a little they add a little historiosity to this, um, especially this first one that we're going to do bath. But uh, because they are so small and they are very limited, I mean, you're seeing the scope of it right here on the screen. Um, they are perfect for introducing a friend, a buddy, someone that you game with to the great campaign system. So uh, you can add this to the cart of all the other small ones that have been used for just such a purpose. Um, let's let's go ahead and pull up the notes here. Um, this is scenario, I call this bonus scenario number one. This is Bath. Uh, this is immediately after Christmas of 1861. So we're actually doing this uh, the, the 1st of January, New Year's Day, 1862. So we, ju- <laughs> we just beat the cutoff of not having to do the, you know, the, the 1861 rules for marching and command radius and all that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? Right, yeah. Right. Which, of course, when this was created in the 90s, those did not exist yet. But uh, still, this is an 1862 scenario, so we're, we're good. Um, but there is the historical information there. This is basically Jackson's first uh, attempt to be aggressive on the Bluebellies and to uh, to cut off their line of communication supply between uh, Banks in Frederick and some of the mountain groups that are over to the west. So he figures the best way to do that is to uh, harass the B&O line, uh, the railroad, the Baltimore and Ohio, and the uh, Chesapeake and Ohio Canal, which runs uh, kind of along parallel to it. So, uh, yeah, cut both of those, harass the, uh, the Federals, and you could do this with a minimum of effort. So he gets some men, and that's where we are set up here for this scenario tonight. I think, um, I think if we're, we're, Playing consistently with what we normally do, I will start with the Union for the first game, and then Roger will do the second uh, game as the Union. Uh, in our new market scenario, which we will look at uh, at some point later on in this video, <laughs> um, we will. There's some random element to that, so we will actually abide by that for the first game, which is kind of neat. Um, but this one is very straightforward. Uh, I mean, as easy as an intro scenario could be. It is two turns. Uh, there are no scenario or no random events in this scenario, so we don't have to roll for rain because it's already presumed because of the snowy mountains here uh, in in Morgan County uh, in 
uh, Western Virginia or West Virginia, that uh, we are going to be utilizing the the rain movement rules for uh, for all terrain uh, passage. So the roads are all going to be two points. The tra uh, the trails uh, through the mountains will be three points, and going over land is probably going to be a little a little more prohibitive as well. The Confederate units, uh, so Roger for the first game, cannot attack nor move out of Morgan County except to go towards Hancock, which is right up there where Donnelly is here across the Potomac River. So that is the, the one and only exception to that. He can attack into 3201 and... That is, otherwise, all of his actions, his movements, have to be confined within the county lines here, which is basically south of the Potomac. But you can also see they kind of run uh, southeast here. So you're not moving very far. It's, it's a set piece. You're set up to, to go right into the action. During both turns, uh, the Union will get the first yeah. initiative. Um, and then the moment Roger, as the Confederates, passes, then the action phase ends. So it's not a double pass. It's just... It's keep going, Confederate, until you can't or don't want to, and then the turn ends. Which, uh, obviously, that is playing beat the clock for this. Um, what Roger is attempting to do is, we see these four red circles here, and all he has to do, I say all, all in italics <laughs> and bold there, all he has to do is touch one or more of them. And he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to occupy them. He doesn't have to control them. All he has to do is just touch them one time. And the more he interacts with, the more he touches or passes through at any point, then the, that is positive points for him at the end of the game. So those four there. Oh, we've got Bath. Uh, Bath here, where the first West Virginia is. Uh, Sir John's Run, which is right there, where the tenth Maine is. We got Great Cacapon, where the two PHB is. And then, of course, Donnelly uh, is up there in Hancock, as we mentioned. So, um, basically, if we were playing this face-to-face, -face, uh, as soon as you touch it or attack into it or whatever, that you succeed to get into that hex, we would put a marker there. I think tonight, just for ease, we'll just go ahead and give you the points because they cannot be taken away. Um, so, uh, we're moving over to the public tab there with the victory conditions. And, as we mentioned... It could not be any more straightforward than this. The more he touches, uh, the better his score will be. So if he, uh, there are four objectives. If he gets one of them, he gets one victory point. If he gets two of them, he gets two. Follow me here. Don't get lost. If you touch three of them, this is where it gets hairy. He gets four victory points. And if he manages to interact with all four of the victory point locations, that is eight points. I have a feeling that is very, very difficult. Because I was sitting here looking at, looking at it and looking uh, back at the scenario, and I thought, man, there's got to be a cutoff point where there's got to push your luck element where it's like, I don't know if I can get past two or three and, and how you make it up. Because, of course... Just like every other scenario, we've got pluses and minus for manpower losses. So I think that is the big Confederate question mark on this one. How many hexes do you try to touch? How much energy do you expend getting to those victory point locations? Versus just beat the tar out of them, you know, right? Um, so the cutoff point there, the marginal Confederate victory, is five victory points. So if you get three objectives in a, and a manpower loss... Great, you've done it. If you get two objectives and a couple, well, you know, you, you could figure out the math there. So that is the question. I don't know how much you've studied this. I suspect you probably have. I think you've got a plan. Um, uh, well, I have a plan, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was confused about the wording. It says, Confederate sure. units may neither attack right. nor move out of Morgan County. Right. So the only t uh, you can't, for example, if um, uh, using the I'm going to close the thing here. Let's say that Williams uh, had come over to. Um, uh, yeah. So basically, if Williams tries to cross at uh, at the tunnel ferry there at 3906, um, that is outside of Morgan County. So even if he comes into tunnels ferry there. Uh, and Jackson's sitting there waiting for him. He cannot attack him at that point into 3907. Oh, okay. Because that is outside see, okay, of Morgan County, yeah. The only one he's okay. allowed to do that is Donnelly. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I, and I, I don't suppose that that would be... That's the only way that I can see that that would even be a factor, because there are no fords across uh, the river. 
But uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. I, I probably explained it longer than <laughs> it will take us to yeah. play. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what are your thoughts yeah. on the opening here? Well, when I you know looked at it, I thought uh, initially this would be quick. I think it's still be quick. I don't know how easy it's going to be on the Confed side to win this. But you don't have any leaders other than Williams, and he's way over there. Way over there, right. So he's a a late-game turn to kind of see if he can... I don't know. He's probably there to offset some uh, points by incurring victory uh, manpower losses on very tired Confederate units, I think. Um, yeah, because he's, he's not in a position to help early on, um, and with the Union getting the opening move on both turns, that uh, that is definitely going to make a big difference there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, and two PHB is under breastworks, so I think that one's is, really, oh, yeah. really dug in, um, and a, you're attacking that a crossover. Donnelly is a, t- uh, he is a, yeah, he's under Breastworks 1, so it's not complete yet. It will be for turn 2. Uh, mm-hmm. And then he will be a 6. So, um, I just have a feeling that Donnelly and 2PHB are really, really difficult ones to get. But yep. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that means you may just have to just just have to make Jackson be Jackson and just <laughs> go yep. go for blood. Um, but with that being said, I think we are ready to go. Um, obviously, no leader transfers for me. So with my first initiative, then, I think I will activate the 10th main. That seems like something that I probably want to do. Um, he will roll. He will get a minimum of, or he will get his, whatever his die roll is. It's a four. And he will just move in to join the first West Virginia there. Let's see if we can we can pack and stack. So here's the initiative roll. It is yours. And good luck to you. Oh, good luck to you too. Yeah, so I always get that part. Okay, I'm going to use Jackson to activate and just Fulkerson for now. So here's his movement. It's a four. He gets the plus two for Jackson. So his move is... Six. Jackson's going to move with him. That's going to be two and four. So he has two left. Four. So extended march. Okay. Three. He's right. So he's going to launch a normal attack against the 54th Pennsylvania. That's a one for ratio. A plus three for tactical. And you have flanks for fuse marker. So that's another plus one. So that's going to be a plus four. Three, four, plus five assault. That does look like a, a plus five to me. Okay, so here we go. Plus five. It's plus, a five. plus five result. And I think that will wipe him out. Uh, one DR. See. Yep, that is a one DR, so he is just evaporated. That's a good attack, so they are just gone. Boom. And we'll Let's see. Them. Plus five. I have that a... Give you to USA manpower loss, so you got a point. So he moves into the hex. Okay, initiative, it's yours. Okay. The first Maryland will activate. They will get a movement of five. So two, four. Uh, initiative. Um, I think that's a. Pike, isn't it? Oh, that's right. It is one and a half. Yeah, so it's one and a half. Uh, So that was one and a half, three, and he could get four and a half. Yeah, so he could get there. Yeah, thank you. See, we're we're rusty on our pikes. Um, I I wasn't sure. I was looking for the name. It's yeah, it's a thick right. Yeah, it's the National Road. So you would you that was the first one. Um, So now first Maryland will go again then. They get a movement. Ah, terrible. Uh, But it's just enough, so they can go one and a half, three. All right, initiative. Uh, I will pass. Okay. Uh, Jackson's going to activate Burks and Stonewall. So here's their movement. 
six again. Um, we're going to do Burke first. Here's his extended march. He's going to lose a manpower. So he's going to go two, four, six. Here's Stonewall. Here's his extended march. He's not. Stonewall's going to go up and join Burke. And Jackson is going to switch to them. Um, initiative. Mine. Okay. As you said, this is a pressure lock game. But he's going to have breastworks by next turn. Boy, there's no way to get there. I'll activate Tolliver. Here's his movement. He gets a six. He's outside Jackson's range. That's all he gets. Here's his extended march. Uh, he'll, get the plus, he'll get a plus one, right? He'll, so he'll be seven. Seven. Correct. Two, four, six. Okay. Initiative. It's mine. I'm going to... I'm going to activate Stonewall and Burks. Uh, I'll do a movement roll. Seems like opportunity has presented itself. Yeah, I've changed. Let's see. Two, four, six. If he can get to there. Here's Burks' extended march. He loses another manpower. He's going to go two, four, six, eight. Here's Stonewall's extended march. Four plus one is five. We're going to try this. And then he's just going to go up there and join them. Stonewall. Jackson goes on top. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Well, let's try it. We'll activate Stonewall with Jackson. Here's his movement. He's a two, so it's a four. Extended march is a six. He loses a manpower. He's going to go one, two, four. Well, that was a gamble, probably not worth taking. Initiative, it's yours. I will have Williams activate Gordon. They'll go to fatigue level one. Here's their movement of minimum two. Six. So one and a half, three, four and a half, six. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, well, they will go to fatigue level two. And here's their movement again. So it's just three. One and a half, three. Initiative! It's mine again. I figure they need to go to fatigue level three and at least be in position. So here's a minimum two movement. Ah, two. So they just go one hex across the river. Initiative. Oh, and I neglected to do an extended march, so let's do that. Plus one. They're okay. Uh, it is yours. I'm going to pass. Okay, then we will proceed on to the next turn. Uh, so we're going to recover in the sunshine. Uh, PHB and West Virginia are building breastworks, but they will not complete them in time to be a, a factor in this game, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, PHB 2 has started a fort, and more importantly, mm -hmm. Hancock has completed their breastworks. So, um, all right. I, ooh, I am in range now, so Williams, for my leader transfer, will come over and join Donnelly. Wow, they're both twos. That's terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then there, there's no <laughs> point. He'll just stay with Gordon. And uh, you may move Jackson if you like. Yeah, I'll move him to uh, Fulkerson. And uh, I think you get the first initiative. I do. Okay. Uh, so Williams will activate Gordon. And they go. Movement four. One and a half. Three. And that is as far as they go. I'm curious about something in the movement or outside of Morgan. Uh, if I should be doing that, if I should not perhaps be getting the uh, Mountain Winterkinsons within Morgan County only. Oh, bummer. So I'm outside, oh. so I should be moving farther. Um, oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. So let's, uh, let's see how far he actually got. He did... He had... Uh, 
six on the first one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two on the second one, seven, eight, and I think four on the last one, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he could technically be as far as that prior to this starting, uh, and then the four on this one would get him in to join. So, uh, wow. Who knew that snow stopped at the county line? But I guess. Um, okay. So, uh, initiative. It is mine. I will pass. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have to do it this way. It's not the way I don't think is the smart way. I think it's the only way. I want to attempt an assault with Jackson against the 10th Main. One PHP, what that stands for, and one West Virginia. So here's his attack roll. It's a three. So this is going to be a minus one for ratio and a plus three for tactical. Uh, you also get one plus one for the assault itself. Oh, plus one. So it's a plus three. That's right. Yep. So it's a plus three. Stranger plus things have happened. Converts on the right. That's a minus one result. I did not handle this scenario well. So you're just fatigued. Okay. And I'm disorganized. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Let's activate Ashby. Here's his movement. Gets Confederate cavalry. Get two. Is that right? Uh, plus one. Plus one. So he's going to go two, four. Initiative. Mine again. So let me try them again. Increase this fatigue. Six, seven, two, four, six. Initiative. Yours. I believe I will pass. Ten. Hash me again. Says movement. To six. There's extended march. He flips. I don't think there's any question that the uh, not manpower, but the uh, dice roller is a sentient being and it hates me. Two, four, six. Initiative. I cannot disagree with that <laughs> because it hates me equally. <laughs> um, okay, that's mine. So I'll tee Burke. Here's his movement. It's a six. Two. Four. I'll put him there. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Okay, you don't get VPs if Ashby goes away. So I'm going to take him to red. Here's his movement. Nine. Here's his extended march. One. Woohoo! He's going to go there. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Somewhere down there is the Stonewall Brigade. Activate him. Here's his movement. Two. He extended march. So he's okay. But he only gets to go two. One, two. That's where I meant to go. Initiative. Yours. Uh, I will continue to pass. Okay. Um, Stonewall again. Here's his movement. He is not within range, so he can only go three. Here's his extended march. He's going to lose a manpower. Dang it. Gee whiz. Two. Yes, you do. Yours. I think the 1st Maryland Cavalry will march. And they will get a movement <laughs> of six. So they'll go uh, they're one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and six. That's what we need. Okay. Uh, initiative. Uh, it's mine again. Movement. Five, so now it's two and f four. Initiative. Uh, it's mine. I will pass. Okay, I'll take Stonewall to Penelope Teague. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized. <laughs> nice. I just realized um, there's a railroad there through that round top. So, good job. My mistake. Ride those rails. 
Yeah, I, th- I wondered why you didn't stop. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I had no, <laughs> had no reason not to stop, but uh, I overlooked it. Oh well, that's that's my mistake. Okay, uh, let's see if he can uh, get there from here. Movement is a four. Extended march. Uh, he can get there from here. He can, and he does not lose a manpower. That's right. So that's going to be two. Four. Good. So I'm going to give you a victory point right now, just since you touched one of them. There you go. Okay, so initiative. Oh, that's right. I don't have to hold it. No, no, you just uh, you, you touched it, that's it. Jeez, okay. I've been really <laughs> playing this stupidly then, haven't I? <laughs> I didn't have to worry about those guys come. Ah, man. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Um, initiative. It's yours again. Or uh, yours this time i will i think the the first maryland will march to four or to three rather um they will get five and their extended march they're okay and they're just going to put a flanks refused marker out since you got a flank there we can completely negate it with that so initiative that's mine. I will pass. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate the first militia. First one. Um, with Jackson, he's within range. Jackson's going to transfer to him. So he gets a seven. So that's going to be two, four, and six. Okay, initiative. It's mine. Okay, I'm going to attempt an yeah. assault. Here come the cadets. They're, okay, yeah. they're ready to prove themselves. It could be the uh, difference here. Um, I'm attempting assault with Jackson, so let me fatigue everybody. Which we'll I've got. Make sure I fatigue. Fatigue. Here's his assault roll. It's three. Three minus. They both come in. So I have three to yours. Now I've got uh, five. Five. So it's a minus one for ratio. Yeah, just minus one. Uh, I get a plus one for the type, and Jackson is a plus three tactical. Right? I don't three. Think I have a two in there anywhere. Uh, yeah, no, I'm having, one. yeah, all ones. So it's plus three, and your flanks refused. There is no flank because I have all flanks covered, but uh, the you have you have uh, five hexes covered, uh, so that's yeah. a plus two. But uh, one comes off for the flanks, and yeah. then the other one comes off because you don't have a road into uh, to the that woods there. Yeah, twenty eight oh six. So I There's think no it's just a, his tactical brilliance at play here. Uh, plus Let's three see. to your roll, and you have woods, so the artillery is nothing. So it's plus three. And it's a plus four wow. result. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. What does that do with a plus? Oh, you're in a five. Uh, so it's a plus four. That's a one DR, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, it's, uh, it's plus four, right? Yeah, so just one DR. Very close to a two DR. Well, that is no bueno. Okay. Uh, well, then we will take it from... Hmm. Uh, we will take it from the tenth main. That was a a very Jacksonian attack, and they must go go one, two, three, and four. Wow! And you may advance in. Yeah, which we will do. And I will give you a second VP. And I took a USA loss, so right now you're looking at four points. So you get one more point, and it is a marginal victory. Okay. Initiative. Yours. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think uh, Williams will activate Gordon uh, for an assault on Ashby and Burks. What would Ashby like to do? Uh, they're going to stand. And okay. They pretty much have to stand. I, sure. know. I figured you would. Uh, all right, so increasing his fatigue... Uh, here is his command roll. Uh, he's got a six. It goes off. So, 
Uh, here are the numbers. It's plus one for an assault. Uh, it's minus one for tactical. It is uh, plus three for ratio. And minus two for across the river. So I see four up and three down. Ugh. Yeah. That's not good. That, that can never go well. So I could potentially, right now with this foolish attack by Williams, potentially give you the game here with a, a poor roll. So let's see. Uh, Union on the left with plus one. And congratulations. I just gave you the game. <laughs> wow, that's a, what is that, a minus uh, three? It's a minus result? three, and I'm a four. So yeah, I gave you 2D, so good on you. <laughs> well done, I'm Patrick. Surprised. I'm surprised you did that. I'm surprised you waited. To... Uh, I, I, because I was afraid you were going to uh, do use them against, or yes. have Jackson use them against the, the already defeated Marylanders and all that. Uh, so, yeah, there's a, that's a, that's a, a victory for you. <laughs> well, we can uh, we can either stop it here or we can continue on. It is your initiative if you like. Um. Oh, I pass in the yeah, game means correct. Yes, correct. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's, seem... that's good. So <laughs> once again, because that can, would open up the chance of you hitting me back with I can, uh, well, Donnelly. I can snatch defeat from the jaws of victory <laughs> on any day. I will take a swig of whiskey for that one. So final score in the first game uh, in uh, Patrick's stunning Federals. Uh, the Confederates end up with two for the victory points for your touch for, for the two locations you've got and then four for my manpower losses. So you got six, which is a marginal. marginal. That, that is it. Congratulations. So, oh, thank you. what are your thoughts? <laughs> let's, um, let's, for the moment, put aside that horrendous blunder of mine. <laughs> well, I, I mean, yeah, my next, my thought was, obviously, was to try to get to those routed units. Right. Um, uh, if I could somehow get Jackson and down that, there. That's basically what I was hoping to do, was to get Williams to either eliminate yeah. or drive Ashby out of there, so yeah. I could come in and protect everybody yeah. that, that the lame duck there because I, I figure I know your play style and I knew that that was next on the agenda you know March 4th and you've got uh, you know whoever your strongest is I've got four units and they're all demoralized so yeah uh, I had to try and yeah I got the almost the one six split which that's the bane of my existence anyway yeah almost yeah um, um. so let us set this up and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the game here and okay. I'm going to reopen it, uh, and then you, all you need to do is resync to me. So let's see, load the game, bath. Uh, I will be the Union, or excuse me, I will be the Confederate this time. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready. If you want to just sync to me. Synchronize. All right. Um, so you get the first initiative. Uh, oh, okay. This one. I'm going to activate the 54th Pennsylvania. He's going to fall back to their initiative. It's mine. Uh, I'll activate uh, the 1st Maryland. He gets nine, as we learned. He can, no snow on that side of the river. Right, that's right. <laughs> it's quite seven, a thermal barrier four, we've got there, Potomac. Five, seven, nine. Initiative. Force. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different this time. I am going to pass. Oh, interesting. I thought about that. Yeah. Just to get, get everybody refreshed and full that's strength. That's right. So I am going to recover in the sunshine here uh, and move this to turn number two. And you uh, get the first initiative for turn two. Okay. Um, going to activate the 10th main. And he's just going to make a menu to there as well. Initiative. Yours. Okay. Jackson will... In for a penny, in for a pound. We're going to activate everybody. So they're all going to go to fatigue level one. Um, except for the Virginia militia. He'll, he'll let them hang back. Um, all right. So here's their movement. Plus two. 
Eight oh, and nice. Eight. Yeah. So he's gonna go. Let's see. He's gonna stay with the Stonewall Brigade, and they're gonna go two, four, and they have four left. So I think he is going to uh, strike while the iron's hot here, and make a prepared attack on that stack. So we got plus one for prepared. It is minus one for ratio four to five. Good timing on that, by the way. And then plus three tactical. So I think, like yours, it's just a plus three. Plus three. three. Yep. yep. Same type so, of assault. Uh, here we go. Plus three Confederates on the right. <sighs> Man. <laughs> this happened to me last <laughs> night, too. I just have the worst dice luck today. <laughs> Uh, negative two. That's okay. A, Man. That's a minus two. That's a fatigue on my guys. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And, and, I need uh, that, it's a one D for me, so I'm in the hole. Oh, it is one D. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, and they're done. Just never rains, but it pours. Um, so, continuing on with the others, Tolliver will go, uh, two, four, six. Fulkerson will go two, four, six. Uh, Burks will go two, four, six. Mm, and that is it. We've all moved. So the curse of the six one continues. Initiative. Okay. It's mine again. Activate Burks. Uh, his movement is a plus two. So it is just a three. Um, so he's just going to move there. Initiative. It's mine again. Jackson activates Burke to three. And movement plus two. Yikes. Man, oh man. I cannot catch a break today. Um, so he's going to just go there. And extended march. He's okay. Initiative. Again. Jackson activates Burks again to th four. Movement. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, so there's really no point now at this other than to do so. Uh, extended march. He's okay. He just goes to there. Wowzers. Um, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Um, activate the first Maryland. Was four, two, four. Initiative. Mine again. First uh, Maryland again. So stupid. Oh my God, we are so rusty. I I cannot believe I, I just I'm playing so stupidly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I forgot something. Continue. Okay. Um. Two. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, two. <laughs> Initiative. Mine again. T3. It's first Maryland. Movement. There we go. Could have gotten that last time. Can he do it again? Can he roll a six? Yes, he can. I don't know it's if I miracle. want to release this video. <laughs> It's a miracle. <laughs> uh, Sir John's run. Okay. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. All right. Um, Ashby will move. He will go to fatigue level one. Gets plus one. So two, four, six. Uh, I have to check the terrain effects chart. For major terrain into woods, right? It is into woods. Uh, oh, it's a seven in rain turn, so no going there. All right. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. Ashby again. March. Man, <laughs> I know what's going to happen. Uh, he's going to go there and stop. Initiative. Again. Ashby to fatigue level three. Movement! Uh, there it is. Um, 
extended march. Okay, so uh, he's got seven. So two, four. He's got three left. Initiative. Okay, it's mine. Ashby will march to fatigue level four. He will get a movement. There we go. So 13, oh, his extended march. Ugh. Come oh, on, man. Get one, take it, away. take it away. Man. Okay, so he flips. This is just Keystone Cops today. Um, Alright, so I will make a prepared attack on the 1st Maryland Cavalry. Uh, so it is going to be plus one for that. And plus... Two for tactical. Minus one for you being in the mountain, and I'm also in the mountain. Yes. And that is all. So I see plus two, right? Plus two, yeah. Uh, here we go. Plus two. Gotta believe. Gotta believe. All right. Plus three. That works. Plus three is a DR. Yes. Now the question is. Do you get credit for taking it? I... Nope, not cavalry, but oh, it's okay. Cool. One, not. two, three. No, it doesn't. Four, five, six. I'm taking all the way back to there. Okay. So, net benefit to zero. <laughs> Initiative. Did you want to move Ash Oh, yeah. I suppose yeah. not. Yeah. You did? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, initiative, uh, is mine, so, uh, no, we'll just, uh, we'll just keep hammering away at it, because that's the, that's the easiest way to <laughs> finish the game quickly, because this is already off the rails. Um, <laughs> so Jackson will declare a, uh, an assault using Tolliver, um, so here's his command roll. It goes off. So I think it's the same as last time. It's a plus one for assault, plus three for tactical. So it's four. Uh, minus one for ratio. Right? You're yes. still you're, okay. So plus three. So here goes plus three. And there you go. Plus four. Is Plus the, four. Yes. So you get a manpower loss on me. Uh, so one manpower loss for Union. Uh, I get Let's that. see. Does it matter if I take it off? Of, so I'll take it off the tenth main. Okay, and that was a route. So they got to go back four to six hexes. One, two, three, four. Have to go this way five, and they're also going to go to Hanover here. So oh, I'm going to sit there on the other side of the river. Yeah, safety, safety of the river. <laughs> um, um, Jackson so, will advance into there, so I will. I gave myself the one victory point for that. Um, okay, um, I think that's it. Initiative. So it's yours. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I th I think I stepped in it. Um, because I'm at plus one, minus two, so it's negative one. So um, I will activate Tolliver to three. Um, he will get a fantastic roll. Uh, he'll just go there so that I can, quote, claim the second spot. Mm -hmm. Um so that's that. That now brings me back at net zero. Hooray! Um, I don't think that I can get five victory points at this point, at this juncture, because of the, that negative two there at the beginning. Uh, and then, you know, everyone getting the sl Burks getting the slows there. Um, so I'm, I'm going to call it here. I think there's no point in keep going. Uh, so that is a, it's a union marginal, I think. So we've had a, a Union fumble in my game and a Confederate f inability to do anything with Jackson uh, in uh, my Confederate game. So good on you, man. It's two for yeah. two. For two. Well, uh, this wasn't... Go ahead. I think the Union side is just uh, 
open the Confederates real badly. And that's really I, all they can do. I, mean, I really, like, th- I think you are correct. I think it is a, it's a, it's a tutorial scenario obviously it's meant to show some basic movement basic combat mechanics um but it is uh, everything would seem to have to go true to form for jackson uh he has to be jackson he has to have some uh, some die rolls at least not go against him i mean even if they're just average die rolls for movement uh and for combat he can still at least potentially take bath and and the uh uh, whatever John's uh, Sir John's run, Sir John's so run, yeah. I have to figure that. I mean, those two are sort of always on the table. They are they are there, um, and then that's to teach you how to go the direct route. And then beyond that, I think the other two are dangled in front of you as are they fool's gold? I don't know, or are they just for the supreme military tactician to go up there? Uh, with fantastic guy rolls and just to steamroll right over it, uh, because they're both they're both minus two across fords and rivers, uh, so I have to figure that's that's a big big crapshoot and that's potentially giving away points. Uh, so personally, I would not be inclined to try it as Jackson, but one never knows. I mean, if the circumstances yeah. present themselves, maybe. So I think this one is a very uphill climb for Jackson. Uh, historically, uh, I like how uh, Trevor puts in there. Historically, uh, Jackson and the and the Virginia cadets steamrolled right into Bath and <laughs> uh, and forced everybody back to Hancock. And the Federals said, "Okay, you can have it." And he succeeded. It was his first his first big victory of the war that kind of made his, made his name in the valley. Um, I was not able to do it, <laughs> and uh, as the Union, I managed to let you do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Well, well not realizing, and uh, Round Top was a railroad. Was, yeah, was, yeah, and that, and and then I did not force mark Bert. Uh, force mark. Yeah, if you force mark Bert, then that would have right, right, uh, and then I would have set up the full flank, flank, uh, or at least five out of six. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a little off tonight. I think I don't know something something's up. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's take five minutes here and we will be right back with a new game in new market. See what I did there? Indeed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Very fun. Very fun. Thanks. I try. Uh, we'll see you in a few. We are back with the second game here uh and i want to welcome everybody uh after our little commercial break there welcome back to how not to play great campaigns of the american (laughs) civil war or how to screw up royally i'm your host patrick and i will show you all the ways to fumble the ball at the one yard line please learn from me and don't do that yourselves that is a learning method oh boy oh man it is it it's a hard lesson but you know, it lives with you, but you st- well, I keep making the same mistake, so <laughs> apparently not. Um, we have moved on to our second, our double feature uh, show tonight. This is a new market. So this is uh, an 1864 scenario, also developed by Trevor Bender. And it was, uh, it's also available on the Multiman Publishing website. This one jumps ahead three years, so it is now uh, 1864. This is a late war scenario. This is, I think, for you and I, Roger, this is the first time we've actually done a late war scenario. Um, and this one, this is the one where I have to sort of tell everybody, uh, pay no attention to the, the names and labels that you see on the on the chits. Uh, obviously, Stonewall Jackson is uh, dead low these, uh, you know, many months now. And um, we're just using his chit because he represents um, Breckenridge. Uh, so this is uh, General Breckenridge is the leader of these forces here. And basically every other unit, the name that you see on there is not applicable. So if you want to actually see the names, there's a nice little lookup chart on the Multiman website for this scenario that tells you who each of them represent. But this uh, uh, this is Franz Siegel, the old German Siegel. He is now uh, he is uh, trying to, I guess, make a name for himself late in the war uh, in the valley. 
and so he will uh, he is the union force leader on this side on their side and breckenridge uh, former candidate for president john c breckenridge um, is the leader on the confederate side and a I've got the scenario information open here. This is a one-turn scenario, so it should go even faster. May 1864, while the wilderness is going on uh, off to the east, um, we got these two forces coming together. And again, very limited scope. It's only a few hexes difference between um, the gap through the Massanuttons and the bridge across the Shenandoah River. So. Um, so that new market gap is is what we are fighting over here. Um, so limited points on this one. Special rules are, uh, so prior to play, we are going to roll a die, and the high roller will then uh, choose the side he prefers to command, or, or uh, take what's behind curtain number two, Monty. He can win the first initiative, uh, and then the opponent will get the whatever option he did not take. And then beyond that, we will actually roll for initiative as per normal. There are no random events in this one. However, like the previous event, uh, previous scenario that we played, this one has full rain uh, effects. And we actually, if I look on the turn chart here, they actually put a little rain uh, marker there. So we do know that roads and uh, fords are impassable, of course, across the Shenandoah. So there's no attacking across except for the bridge there. And there is no crossing at creeks that are not crossed by a road. And of course, all marching along the roads and pikes is going to be affected by that. So, uh, and there will be if you if you go overland, uh, there will be some uh, penalty for I think rough and some of the other terrains that are already kind of prohibitively high. Uh, the Union player has these two substitute units that represent some of the smaller forces. Um, he cannot create any more these but these are all uh, subordinate to Siegel himself um, so he will be able to activate those um, but that's it they're just kind of there to to be the space uh, space fillers for some of those forces uh, and then the the big attention is the uh, is the memes brought bot memes bottom bridge and you can either side can attempt to destroy it However, and this was even actually pointed out through one of our comments uh, on an earlier video, which thank you very much for that, is uh, pointed out that you cannot make an attempt to destroy a bridge per the standard rules if there is an enemy unit on the opposite side. So you cannot make an attempt if there's an enemy unit opposite uh, on the opposite side of the bridge. So um, The uh, victory points on this are going to be uh, completely for the Confederate. He's the one obviously trying to get these points. If the memes bottom bridge is destroyed, that's a that's a victory point. Um, if a non-demoralized Union infantry unit occupies either one of these two hexes in the new market gap, that is a negative point for the Confederates. And then the rest of it is plus one, minus one for manpower losses. And you can see that the victory conditions are exceedingly small here. Uh, it is two points for a Confederate marginal victory, so, you know, uh, there could be no attempt on the bridges at all uh, for, for, you know, for all that work for one point. Uh, it may just come down to inflicting combat losses or retreat losses for the uh, for the cavalry. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't looked at it too in depth. I wanted to come at it with fresh eyes. So since we are both going to get to play both sides, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So um, what do you think, Roger? Yeah, I didn't look at this either. Um, I mean, I'll open it briefly about an hour ago. No, two hours ago. Oh, good. Really? Then we are. We are really fresh. Um, <laughs> so in 18, let's just kind of go over some 1864 rules. Because sure. like you said, I, I haven't not played 1864 at all. Right. Um, and I, I didn't think that through. I, I should have spent some time this afternoon. Uh, so the Union movement, we're back to normal, right? It's going to be if uh, Blinker standing in for Siegel activates, it's going to be plus one. Correct. Now, entrenching, they can do now as part of their actions, correct? Uh, but not during a rain turn. So, oh. Yes. So that's so not even a factor. Part. Right. Okay. Right. So the only thing would be... I think the just the plus. movement. Yeah, the movement just is the movement. going to change. Back, 
back to plus one. That's okay. Right, that's right. I guess um, it's not really standard anymore. We've been playing 18. I know. For so long. <laughs> exactly. Um, gosh, what are we going to do when we get out of the valley? Yeah. We won't know what to do with ourselves. Um, probably true. Okay, so I think this one, I mean, I probably won't even have to. I can even, I can zoom in the map a little bit. Um, uh, all of the Union forces, I believe, go as far up as Stahl, right? And... Uh, there's uh, Woodstock is where Siegel sits where, with. Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is, way up there. The yeah, so, so that Siegel. I is, say Siegel. Yeah, Blanker, Blanker, is just right, standing. right. So he has got some uh, some many miles to catch to get down there to protect that bridge. So why don't we each roll a die, and okay. uh, we will proceed per number one. Here's my die roll. I get a four. Okay, here's mine. Okay. You win. So I win. So. I think I would like the first initiative. Okay. Uh, I'll take the Confederates, I believe. Okay. All right. So I will get the Union forces. Now, we will forego that in, in the second game. We will just automatically swap. And okay. um, you will take the Union forces and... And, and the, the first initiative. And the first initiative, right. Yep. Okay. Okay. That'll work. Um, cool. All right. Well then, uh, saying that, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do, but let me, let me assess the situation here. We got 10th New York and Steinware and 5th New York. So we got the polo players down there guarding. Now, against... can we do leader transfers or we stuck with We can league? do leader transfer. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. so I believe I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah. So I can get... I can get Siegel down to stall, and I will do that. I'll go ahead and move Jackson to Tolliver. Okay, so, all right, so everyone has moved then. I will get that first initiative, and then I will, um, I will march stall with his leader. So they go to one. Uh, so we're going to get a plus one to this roll, finally, <coughs> and it's a three. Okay, so we're on a pike in the rain, so it's going to be one and a half and three. There we go. Initiative. It is yours. I'll activate Ashby. This is, well, he's only going to be able to go one in any direction, so he's just going to move one to there. Well, you could always roll, see if you get a, a juicy uh, movement. You may, may want to do something yeah. frisky. Yeah, I think that's eh, it. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Initiative. Um, it's yours. Okay. Um, Siegel will activate the sub and stall. And get a move and a plus one. Six. Six to the Dunkard Church. Blinker has enough to get to four and a half there. Uh, so that works. Initiative. It is yours. Okay. Um... Jackson's going to activate Tolliver and Patton. Um, here's their movement. It's a four. And I guess at this point I have a, a cav retreat option there. You do, with the first tenth New York. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I will exercise that. So they are a one, which, gosh, it's been so long since I did a cav retreat. So... They are a small force, uh, so it's a minus two, and they will get a fatigue, and flip, and here is their minus two roll. That's not bad, so it's a four, which halves down to two, so you lose two, two movement. One, two, three, and four. That affected Tolliver, correct? Correct. So he has Tolliver has two left. Um, so he's going to go ahead and he's just going to make a men move to Zirkle's moon. Okay. And Patton is going to make a men move of one to there. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Could not have occurred at a better time. So Steinware. Will increase his fatigue, and he will get a movement of two. So he just moves to there. 
gets out of that flank. Uh, initiative. It is yours. Okay. Um, uh, I will activate with Jackson Patton and the Virginia Militia. Here's their movement. It is a five. Uh, Patton's going to go to there. What would the 5th New York like to do? Uh, I think, since you have four left, that they will they will get out of there as well. So we will roll for them. Uh, it is a minus two to this roll, of course. And it's a three, so you're going to lose one point. You go one, two, three, four, and five across the river. He's gone to two. Mm -hmm. he, he's going to stay there. Actually, he went, he went two. Yeah, he's going to stay there. So the Virginia Militia is going to go two. And they've got to go one and a half. Plus an additional one is two and a half, which takes them to four and a half, which is enough to get there. Uh, yes, it is. And Jackson is going to... Oops, what happened to General Jackson? <laughs> he's going to slide back to there. He's going to join them. Okay, initiative. Yours again. Dang it. Hmm. All right. Um, Steinware will activate. Got a fatigue two. And he gets a five. So uh, two and a half, four and a half. There we go. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, initiative. It's yours. Activate Ashby. There's his movement. It's gonna go. It's gonna be one and a half, three. It's gonna go there. Initiative. Mine again. It's gonna activate Patton and Tolliver. Since Patton only an extended march, I'll do them separately. I'll fatigue them each. So here's their movement. It's a three. Great. Um, okay, here's Patton going to orange. Standard March is fine. It's going to be one and a half, three. And Tolliver is going to go two. Initiative. Mine again. I'll activate Tolliver and the Virginia Militia with Jackson. I forgot to increase Tolliver's fatigue. Movement is a six. Now Tolliver's extended March. He's going to flip. It's one and a half, three. Jackson's going with Tolliver. One and a half. Three. Initiative. Mine again. Uh oh. Jackson's going to do his assault with Patton. Here's oh, his okay. attempt. That comes off. Okay, so now he's going to try a grand assault. Um, it's a six, so that does not come off. Okay. So this will be Patton against Steinware. All right, so... So the ratio is zero. Right. Uh, the type is a plus one. Right. Uh, tactical is a plus three. Right. Uh, do the flank, I have a plus two, but that's going to come Going to go off completely off, yeah. It. Right. And artillery is... A one to one in so rough terrain. To, uh, I am in rough terrain, so you have to roll for it. Yeah, so I have to roll, and I always got to check. Uh, it's even, you modifier. If it's odd, no modifier. And it's a minus one modifier. So we're rolling, and it's some odd, so no modifier is used. Lucky you. Um, um, oh, indeed, yes. Um, <laughs> so we have. Uh, no flank, and the rain is a negative one modifier. So the final I have is uh, plus four minus one is a plus three final. That's yeah. Once again, Jackson or excuse me, Breckenridge's tactical brilliance. Yes. Okay. Um, plus three. Um, look right. And it's a plus two result, which okay. is a dr. A little d. Little a from r, right? D. Okay. Yeah, we'll are. We'll are. Uh, so he is done yeah. for the day and flips, yeah. and luckily he can escape here. He has an escape route, uh, so he will just go those two. 
Okay. Um, initiative. Mine again. Well, Jackson will activate the Virginia militia and Tolliver both. Here's his movement. This is eight. And here's his extended march. It's fine. He's also done for the day. Jackson's got transfer to Tolliver. He's going to go to Orange. Here's his extended march. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Two, four, six. Hmm, two left over, huh? Uh, you looked over. What would the tenth New York like to do? Uh, well, I got I got two cavalry there. Um, so they would have their one and a half. So what would that modifier be? Um, they are bigger than that, so they would not have a negative modifier. Um, but that would just leave. Let's see. That would leave you attacking that, and right now I'm at a three and a half versus your th two. So I think we will stand. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Okay. Uh, initiative. Mm. Need that. I have not gotten the initiative in a while. No. Um, I'm going to activate Ashby. There's his movement. Eight. And he's extended March 6th. He's going to flip. These muddy, rainy conditions bedevil us every game. So, we go to one. Initiative. It's yours. Ooh, hooray. Um, well, I, I think Siegel needs to come join the party. So he will increase the fatigue on stall. And they will get a movement of plus one. It's a six. So, they will just come right in there. Uh, initiative. Yours. Jackson is going to attempt an assault on Steinware. Okay. Here's his attempt. It does not come off. Initiative. It's mine. I'm going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass as well. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I have uh, I have some thoughts on this, but I will save them until after we we play through it again. So let me. Uh, I have thoughts. <laughs> oh, I, I know you do. I know you do. No, that was. Uh, uh, all right, so I'm going to close the game here and okay. reset it. I'll load new market again. Uh, this time I will be playing the Confederates. And... Yeah, I'm ready. To, ready to. Finishes the union. Okay. Okay. Um, so yes, you will. Uh, you have leader transfers, of course, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move uh, Siegel down a little closer. As you did. And I certainly liked what you did there with uh, moving Breckenridge up to Tolliver. So I will do the same. Um, and you get the first initiative per last game. So off you go. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm going to activate uh, the Steinmore unit. I'm not sure who he stands in for. Steinmore stands in for... Moore, whoever Moore is. Um, so you've got enough T. Increase the T. Here's his movement. One die roll. Three. So he's going to have to go back. Uh, he's going to go back to the fifth New York position. Hide. New market. He's getting on new market. Okay, initiative. It's mine again. Look at you. And I'll activate Steinware again. Here's his movement. It's a six. Well, that's not fun. So two and a half. One and a half to there. Mm. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Okay, now I'll activate the 5th New York movement. There's a 6. Two and a half to there. Initiative. Mine again. Okay, Seagull's going to activate Stall. 
in the sub two unit. There's their movement. Five. We're on the pike. So it's going to be one and a half, three. Then we'll go down there to the Dunker Church. I'm going to go one and a half, three, four and a half to Mount Jackson. Initiative. Yours. Okay. Well, it would seem I have some work to do now. So Ashby will march and movement of nine. So he just goes. Hmm. You know what? He's just gonna he's gonna work the tenth New York here. He's gonna uh, he's gonna do a prepared attack because we're here to play, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it is plus one for prepared. Plus two for tactical. Uh, minus one for rain, I think. Uh, so just plus two. So uh, uh, what about the artillery? Are you there is no artillery in the tenth New York, so Oh I don't know exactly looking at the wrong numbers. Yep. Uh, so just a plus two here, uh, Confederate on the right. Yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. Because we're here to play, right? It's <laughs> <That's> one. <laughs> it's a one. So uh, I'm guessing that's a DD. Uh, one, yeah, DD. DD. So, yeah. Okay. So he is out of there and flips. Oh. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's yours. I'll activate the stall with blinker. It's a six. It's one and a half. Three. Okay. Uh, initiative. Math is hard. Um, <laughs> it is. But uh, you're getting all the initiatives, man. That's. I'll activate the tenth New York. Let's try to get him out of there. Here's our movement. It's an eight. It's in the march. It's a six, actually. Six. Four plus two. I'm using the new math. Now, see, he's <laughs> right. got a, this is going to be a plus two on his extended march. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. And he is Actually, gone. just just a plus. No, it's just a plus. Well, yes. Never mind. It, it, is, plus, it is a plus one, right? But it didn't matter. Uh, cavalry Wait. never get the, the extra union. They just get it for the... He gets it for the fatigue of level four. So he loses, he's gone, right? Yeah. So no harm, no foul for you. So, where's the loot? There it is. Okay, initiative. Yours. Okay. okay, so right now I'm at a negative one because you've got the new market gap. And that means I need to get three points to offset that. And still get a marginal. Hmm. You've got Steinware sitting in there. In the mountains. No way to flank you. Oh boy, oh boy. This is, uh... This is... This vexes me. Alright, uh... Jackson will activate Patton and Tolliver. So here's their movement. It's a five. One and a half. Three. Four and a half. Yeah, I'll just follow behind. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. I'll activate the sub same way up there at the top. Here's his movement. He gets to go one space. Initiative. Yours again. Yes, so I activated Tolliver and Patton, and they have mm -hmm. gotten a six movement. I'm just going to go one and a half, and one and a half, five. There we go. Uh, initiative. It's mine. We will attempt. Now, of course, I, yeah, I did not give the opportunity because I didn't see one yeah. either. The second Pennsylvania, would you like to yeah. retreat them? I'll keep him there. Uh, I figured, yeah. I mean, they're safety in numbers. Um, man, I'm just sloppy playing tonight. Um, okay, so I'm going to activate Tolliver and Patton for 
Breckenridge will attempt an assault on the Dunkard Church. So here goes the command roll. And it comes off. Okay. I don't believe you have... You have no artillery, so that's not even a factor. So we got plus one for assault. Uh, they both ones? They are both ones. So plus three tactical... And I've got uh, six to th three, so that's plus one ratio, and minus one for the rain. So I see five up, one down, four, plus four. Plus four. Okay. Uh, all right, here goes Union left, and that is a plus, plus six. six. How many guys here? Three. Six. Uh, so just a 1DR for you. 1DR. Take that off the sub, I guess. Four six axes. One, two, three, four. Okay, well done. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still shy. I need I need the ability to... So Don't I will... Give you I... Anything? Um, no, just in advance. So I will advance into the Dunkard Church. However, okay. um, I cannot both attack you and blow up that bridge. So that is unfortunate. So rather than do that, rather than advance, I will stay where we are and roll initiative. So, um, Jackson will activate Tolliver to four. Excuse me, not Jackson, Breckenridge. Uh, movement. Uh, extended march. He's plus one. He's okay. So, uh, one and a half. Three. All right, initiative. Uh, Okay, Breckenridge will activate the Virginia Militia, and their movement will be seven. He will transfer to them. They will go two, three and a half, five. Oh, that breaks the heart. Um, okay, initiative. Um, Virginia Militia will go to two. And then we'll do a movement of one. So yeah, oh. yeah, that figures. So they just do the min minimum there uh, initiative, and it's yours. Yeah, I'll move the sub guy up here at the top just for giggles. There's a movement four. Uh, we'll do. I'll we'll do a force march just so people can see this. Yeah, educate them, baby. Educate them. He get disorganizes. Here's his roll. There's a one, so he doesn't lose anything, but That's he gets right. a min of two. Min two, yeah. So he gets a total of six. So it's going to be one and a half, three, four and a half, six. Some good fishing in Fry's Pond. That's what I was going to say. Good catfish um, in there. There's no way in the world that guy's ever going to get involved. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Initiative. <laughs> Initiative. It's yours. All okay. Right. So I think this is the last hurrah here. Um, yes. So Breckenridge will attempt to use the cadets. Oh no! You like like the cadets at Chapultepec. They will go rushing <laughs> into battle. Um, wow. Okay. So we will attempt an assault on the gap. So here's the command roll, and it goes off. Let us see what we can do with this. This is a plus one for assault, plus three for tactical. Uh, boy, this is going to be real ugly. Um, so there's no artillery. Um, it's four to two, so it's a minus one for ratio. Minus one for rain. And minus two for the mountains. Wow. 
So it is an even die roll. <laughs> Plus four, minus four. Do you concur? Yes. Okay. So I need a plus two in my favor to flush you out of there. So here goes for all the marbles. Ah! Oh, one! One, Roger! Why? Why do the gods hate me? <sighs> well, that's... Uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. It was a very eloquent way to put that. And very diplomatic. I appreciate that. Ah... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah. So plus one on a two. It's just D and D. So that is all for this game, I believe. Uh, no harm, no foul. Nobody loses anything. So um, final score then, I'm going to uh, adjust the VP. I will do... Well, I can't do a negative VP, but you get a VP because you occupy the gap. So it is a uh, plus one, minus one, so it is a zero, which, as we see, is uh, a union substantive victory because you held the new market gap. Yeah. All right. Well, um, so do you want to go first with your final thoughts, or do you want to go... Do you want me to go first on my final thoughts? I'll, I'll let you go first. Okay. Here are my final thoughts. Um, and this is this is not a slight on, on Trevor Bender's uh, scenarios. I, I really... I do like them. I do like them for what they are. However, I have, I have come to the point in my great campaign's career now where I don't have the patience for one turn scenarios because and you know ask anybody who's played the system a long time we know how heavy luck dependent the dice already are a factor so you need multiple turns you need dozens of turns in a campaign to mitigate all of that so when all of your strategy in one single turn with such critically limited resources are so dependent on all of these factors like rain and mountain defense and things like that and setting up flanks i just i don't enjoy them and, it, and again it's not specifically about these two it's just i don't enjoy one turn scenarios anymore people ask me you want to play south mountain i will play south mountain every day and twice on sunday if i'm teaching it to a new player but i do not enjoy south mountain because it is a one-turn scenario, and lo and behold, I'm moving the Union at one hex at a time, because I roll so poorly. And, you know, you try to assault the gap, and it fails. And, you know, when you get a bad die roll in a four- or five-turn game, you shrug it off. You say, okay, tomorrow will be better. I'll do something. I will change my strategy. In a one-turn scenario, you have no capability, and it's very, very demoralizing as a player you know, that 1-6 split in Bath, perfect example. <laughs> you know, it, yeah. it just immediately deflates you. It's like, okay, well, I would, you know, I didn't want that to be the linchpin of everything, but now, now what else can I do if I'm already in the hole? So they're so razor thin, movement becomes a factor, and again, these are all enhanced with things like rain um, and very critical targets. So, uh, yeah. Uh, these these are a great little appetizer snack, and again, great for teaching new players. But for you and I to just bang one out in a night, not. I mean, we're we're beyond this. So that that is my feeling on that. What do you think? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed those scenarios we started with way back months ago. It was Cedar Mountain? I think right. was the first one. Right. And you know, I think we took us three hours or more to play that because we were going very slow and you were walking me through everything. Right. Um, yeah, you, you, this comes down to a single dire. Or, in my case, I had a nice string of initiatives. I could get those guys in the gap and yeah. I figured now you had a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was And had, uh, you know, when I looked at you doing that, uh, I thought about Steinware too late when I was playing the Union because I was more about getting him out of trouble. And then I realized, oh, he really should be more 
you know, not aggressive, but he should at least be making a play because he's the only one in range to make a play for the gap. So that was, I think, I think you doing that with that string of initiatives was excellent because you seized the initiative. Um, once you got in that gap and I realized that I was fighting into mountains, that was very difficult to, to split that off. So, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, a string of initiatives on any scenario, uh, multi-turn or otherwise, is going to is going to severely impact your strategy uh, in a one turn. It's a killer. It's a complete yeah. killer. Yeah. Um, mm. But to happier news, so we we close the book. <laughs> we we close the book on the valley. I've enjoyed my trip, my tour through the Shenandoah Valley. We hope you have enjoyed it as well. Um, what are we gonna do next, Roger? What are your thoughts? What do you? What do you? Where should we go? I know we've got some ideas. We've had the poll. Um, what are, what would you suggest? Well, I, I think the idea, or at least my idea, you know, we've, we've worked our way through 1861, and we just did Stone Island Valley, which is the precursor to the uh, Richmond campaign. Um, to me, chronologically, that would make them a sense, if, if it makes sense for what you want to do, is, is to, to go on to Richmond. I think that was actually the name of the book campaign. I... I believe, you know, this is this is where we have such similar tastes and I think I think you're absolutely correct. I mean, it it was it was a close second or third in uh in our poll. I think it was slightly edged out by Grant takes command. Yeah. Uh, because I'd be happy I think, to do as well. Well, I, I I think some people are just interested in seeing the um the later, because the later uh, late war stuff, as you pointed out, with uh, with entrenchments on as an action and things like that, and, and it does model stuff, and everybody wants to see literally Grant take command. Um, however, that being said, um, here are the reasons that I completely agree with you about on to Richmond. Uh, it's it's highly unknown because not many people have it for the one because it. It was such a small print run, so people aren't familiar with the scenarios. And I think since you and I both own it, this would be a great opportunity for us to to learn and and you know spotlight them for other players. Um, I have not played anything more than maybe two or three scenarios, so there's a lot oh, of a okay. lot of nuance. Yeah, it's it's very fresh to me, so it would be fresh eyes for both of us, I think. Um, and it also takes on some of the things that we've learned here in the valley as far as rain rolls as our random events. So I I really I I am in total agreement. I think if we stay chronologically, we will just jump you know a, a few hundred miles to the east and go to the peninsula and let's deal with the trials and tribulations of the young Napoleon and see what he can do. If we're making this official now, if, if we're putting our stamp on it, I think next week we should start with the first scenario of On to Richmond. Would you say? You've got two thumbs up from me. Okay, well. Because if... we got we got wagon trains. We got gunboats. We got amphibious landing. We got, uh, I think somewhere in there, I think you deal with the Virginia and the Monitor. I think come. I don't know if they come into play in our scenarios. But uh, I know that. I think that they're sounds in the excellent, game. yeah. Well, I can tell by the fact that you are on vacation, and you've obviously been looking through the book. So. Yeah, I've got the books here. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't take the game with me, but right. I did bring the books with me right. so I could uh, study up and. Uh, cool. Well, then, uh, yes. Then, so next week, read uh, the history. We will. Uh, we will move on to Eastern Virginia with the Peninsula Campaign. With on to Richmond. As always, this is a perfect jumping on point. Tell your friends all about this. Uh, we want you to uh, to subscribe and and uh, click the like button. Tell us what you like, comments, and uh, if you if you agree with our our decision to move on to Richmond, then please let us know in the co in the comments section down there. Um, and yeah, we definitely want to hear what you guys think if you've actually played either one of these uh, two scenarios tonight. Um, or what your feelings are about one turn scenarios is a great discussion point. Uh, you know, you, you ask a, you ask a bunch of players, and they will certainly give their opinions on it, uh, good, bad, and ugly. But uh, I'm 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 excited now. I'm very jazzed. So am I. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> calm, calm down, Roger. <laughs> but, I, I haven't. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to knock one turn scenarios too much because because I think. 
they can be fun to do if you because sure, sure. like we did, we did two tonight you know and, and right. for some people that's 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 what they want to do they want to get some they want to have you know finish it and um on richmond looks great I and mean, i'm this is going to be very intense oh, games good. i think good good that's what we're here for um well um on behalf of roger and myself thank you to everybody who's watching this after the fact and uh, we will see you for the next chapter our our third title now well technically fourth but oh. third title um yes as we move on to richmond huzzah okay have a great weekend enjoy the rest of your vacation yeah. oh thank you bye-bye all right take care